Welcome back to Arkham Internship. Uh, it's me, your intern and host, Dwight. I meet so many fascinating people, even just walking around the halls. Our chief psychiatrist, for example, uh, is a little, a little buggy. Dr. Uh, Crane, I think, is uh, a little bit, uh, I don't know. He's an interesting guy, especially when you staff cases with him, trying to avoid doing that, actually. So I'm going to staff him with you. I was able to meet uh, Gilda Dent, my next patient, who is staying here at Arkham. Very interesting backstory. She also uh, well, used to be married to uh, Harvey Dent, who is now known as Two-Face as well, another uh, identity that, that he has adopted. They might still be legally married. Uh, you know, I think that the relationship is strained, to, to say the least. Let's just say it, it kind of maybe goes back and forth. And hey, you know what? There's two sides to every story. And this one is, is no different than that. As part of his duties as district attorney, Harvey was called upon to help investigate or try to catch one of the Gotham's many, many, many serial killers. But interesting, unique case in which this serial killer was attempting to remain unidentified instead of putting on a bright, colorful costume and, I don't know, standing up on town hall and telling everyone that they'd done it or something like that. Uh, the killer became known as Holiday, and let's just say it was a really long Halloween that year. Just about every major holiday uh, had a murder. Many of these murders were gangland killings where um, Gotham's mobster population was being thinned down. Uh, Harvey apparently worked very closely with Batman and with Commissioner Gordon, which seemed to be very natural. These, these three guys working together, inspirational story possibly even inspiring, uh, you know, somebody to adapt it into a movie or at least use it very heavily as source material for a movie. I think that would be a good idea, don't you? During this time, uh, Gilda was racked with worry for Harvey, but also they didn't get to see each other and their marriage became strained because of it. And Gilda apparently wanted nothing more than to have Harvey back in, uh, in her life. A uh, big event in her life, the biggest trauma that she could say was uh, two things. There was a revelation of Harvey uh, having had abuse as a child, which is something that not a lot of people talk about when it comes to Two-Face. Also, he had a, a, a vial of acid thrown in his face in a courtroom, which horribly scarred exactly half of his face. It's a very specific type of injury. There's not a lot of literature about responding to that. However, there is a lot about people uh, experiencing changes in life, major changes like disability. Most people uh, adapt and thrive uh, post-disability, and they actually obtain the level of happiness and life satisfaction that they had before, at least, because they have to work on things therapeutically. Sometimes uh, when embracing therapy, some people actually uh, become more satisfied or score higher on measures of happiness. In this case, the trauma didn't go well for either individual. Uh, Gilda actually confessed to committing some of the murders that were attributed to the holiday killer. Uh, she disposed of the evidence. She was pretty much home free, uh, getting away with it, which was very, very fascinating that she was never planning on telling anyone that she did this. At least some of those that were attributed later to the son of one of the mob bosses. It's a long story. But some of the murders were done by her uh, with the goal that she and Harvey would be able to be together again, I believe were her words, if, uh, if all the mobsters or more of the mobsters were dead. And so we see a very twisted kind of a logic there. And so that's going to get into uh, the diagnoses, which uh, I will be supplying to you very soon.